been described before as the Formula One of shooting. It's the ultimate in precision. The target that we're, we're looking at, the, the actual five is 10 inches wide, a thousand yards. That's really, really small. And the V-ball is five. So, you know, it is really, accuracy is everything. Today is the official start of the European F-Class Championships. So we've got uh, 13 countries here this weekend. We've got, obviously, from the four corners of the UK, and Ireland, we've got Lithuania, Germany, Spain, Italy, France, Croatia. We've got a team come from South Africa, another one from the USA. We've got some Australian competitors. So we've got a really mixed bag this week. So it's great, it's great. I think we've got 187 altogether. When you think you go to a thousand yards and you're technically shooting at a 10 inch target, it's, uh, that's the bit that matters. You know, it's, it's amazing really that we can get so much accuracy out of a 308 or, you know, the F Open Rifles. You have a lot of aids, you've got all the wind flags and things to help you. But that being said, you're trying to hold a minute target at a thousand yards. Um, so, you know, when you're shooting 10 inches at a thousand yards and you're trying to hold that, um, it's a completely different, different game. You know, minutes of Bambi at, at 100 or 200 yards is one thing. I know it has its own challenges because, you know, with the stalk and everything, but, but to hold the, the minute at a thousand, it's, it, it's tricky. And it's surprising, you know, we have back rest, we have front rest, so it's a really, really stable platform. But it's amazing how much it moves. You know, you think about the logistics of firing that little small bit of copper, that distance, and, and everything that can affect on it, the environmentals. Um, yeah, it, it blew my mind when I first started doing it. I, I still remember 26, 2016, um, getting down for the first time. It's the first time I shot at 1,000 yards, and you see, you see the target all that way away. And you think, there's no way that we can hold even the target, let alone the, you know, the five. But yeah, th this kit does. So 1,000 yards, you're aiming, so 30 minutes high. So that's, what, 300 inches high. And then you can be 100 inches to the right or left, depending on the wind. wind. It's, it's fascinating when you're watching it in the spotting scope and you can see the trace of the bullet and you can see it get caught by the wind and then start bringing it in and then holding the center of the target. That's what floats my boat. That's why yeah, I've been doing it for, what, six years now? And I think it's fascinating. I started with, with stalking and I was on the coattails of somebody with an F-class rifle with a, a bog standard Tika. I was, you know, I was shooting target bullets and obviously he beat me, but not by much. You know, some, some of the stalkers are getting fantastic accuracy, but it's just when you, you need the speed, when you're going from a thousand yards, you need to maintain um, sonic speeds all the way to the target. So you do need that extra, extra speed. If you, if you start going um, subsonic, then it, it starts to get unsettled. And, and you just lose accuracy. So if you turn up to the pitch at 1,000 yards with a 22-inch Tika, it could, it, it might struggle at 1,000 yards, depending. Some of the new 6.5s and stuff might make it, but I don't think you'll have the same precision. We're fortunate here, it's not like stalking, you know, you've got loads of wind flags, but there's big gaps in between the, the, the wind flags, and like I say, you know, at 1,000 yards, there's a, there's a lot interfering with that bullet. Um, so what we're looking at is, Obviously, speed changes, but also angle changes, because the, the difference between the angle of the wind can make a massive difference on target. We had a, a shoot at 900 then, when the wind switched all the way around from a left wind to a right wind, and with F-Class, you only have 45 seconds to, to fire your shot. So no matter what the conditions are, you only have 45 seconds. So if you have a big shift, you have to then gauge that shift and, and, and again, hold that five. A lot of people have spotting scopes on the, the firing point with them. Um, so they're great because you can look at the mirage coming from the, the land and, and also it's, it's just looking at the, the flags. You're looking at how high they are for the wind velocity and also the angle because the angle changes make a massive difference as well. And then another tool, like I say, is mirage because you can get a really great gauge on the wind on when the mirage starts running or if it's boiling. You can either hold off so you can put wind on your scope and then hold off on the target because obviously you know the ring size is on the target. So if you're wanting to hold off by a certain amount, you can aim at, at, at those rings or you can dial it onto your scope. So these scopes have a very fine adjustment. All, there's an eighth minute of angle adjustment on them. So if you're wanting to tweak your elevation, if you've got temperature changes, or if you're just wanting to center a group, you can just tweak it by an eighth of an inch and bring, bring that central. But sometimes when it's really windy here, you're making wind calls to the nearest minute. You know, so you've got eighth adjustments on the scope but you're making big, big changes sometimes. The fascination is trying to beat the elements, the wind, trying to improve yourself, 
the technical side of reloading and developing the ammunition, tuning it to your rifle, to your barrel, and then performing yourself. Because you can have a super accurate rifle, and if you can't see the wind, then, you know, you're going to have good groups in the wrong place. So um, it's all a challenge, and it's all fairly, well, very technical. Um, and the, the, the rifle setup, uh, you may have seen an F. FTR rifle previously, this is a different class. So we, we shoot rested off a of front rest. But we tend to use seven millimeter and 30 cal chambered rifles. And we reload our ammunition. We tune our ammunition to the rifle, to the barrel. The scope, uh, you've probably seen many scopes. This is a March scope. This is pretty popular in F class. Uh, it has a graduated, sorry, a graduated reticule, which reflects the turret movements. So you can actually use the reticule to aim as well as use the turret to move. This has a 10 kilo weight limit, whereas the FTR rifles are 8.25 kilos. So, and of course the difference is the front rest. Because FTR shoot off the bipod, we, on our open class, we can shoot off the front rest. And the whole idea is to have the rifle tracking backwards and forwards without movement, very smooth, very progressive. Our center is five inches at 1,000 yards. And our five ring is 10 inches. So you're shooting a CD at 1,000 yards. So you have to eliminate physical, most of the physical influence. Whereas if you shoot TR, you shoot off, uh, off a sling, off, off, your, off your elbows with it. And, and the target is a lot larger. Right. So the problem is the wind. You're never gonna beat the wind. You can only try and keep up with it and try and read it. But uh, I can assure you it's not cheating because it's very difficult to get a good score when you've got the level of uh, competition and busy wind, which can be interesting a lot of the time. Yes, sir. We came from the United States to shoot this event. This is a magnificent event. I have friends that have told me that if I ever have the chance to shoot at Bisley, that I should just do it. And that's what we did this year. Bisley is, is the mecca of shooting within Great Britain, if, if not the world. You know, everybody loves to come here and, and spend the weekend shooting. We're lucky that we've got everything that we could possibly shoot here at Bisley, you know, between the, the uh, full bore shooting out to 1,000 yards. You've got another range, century range, out to 600 yards. You've got the small bore. Really, I've got everything here in one place. Everything's here. You don't need to go off camp. You can be here for several weeks and be quite happy. <laughs> When I came here and I saw this shooting range and all the other facilities, I was uh, pretty much amazed because we don't have such things in Italy. And being here with the best shooter, let's say in Europe, but also from the, all over the world, it's an honor and it's uh, a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure to be here and um, for us it's the holy grail of Bisley. Um, if you're a golfer, you go to St. Andrews. If you're a busy shot this, you must at least visit this place once to, to experience the, the, the vibe and the feeling. And um, that's why we'll definitely be here for the World Cup as well, to, to, be, to be part of a large number of people. This is the ultimate way to test yourself to get the most accuracy out of your hunting rifles. Once you start dipping your toe into F-Class and you start learning how to reload um, and, and, and shoot long range and, and just deal with the whole, the technicalities of it, you can implicate that into your hunting rifles. You know, if you've got your 22s or 50s or your 243s, your 270s for your stalking, and you can really get the best load that you can get. And it, it comes apparent really, really quickly when you start shooting F-Class that you really have to get everything nailed in it and it does help you with reloading. With you. I imagine it becomes quite absorbing in its own right. It does, yeah, yeah, it takes over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it takes over. Yeah, I, I say I'm really passionate about it and as I love, love my hunting and I love this side of it, so I get the best of both worlds.